Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I'm going to show you an app I discovered yesterday which completely changed the way I interact with the infinity display on my Samsung Galaxy S8. This is a feature which should have been included by default in Samsung software when they gave up the physical buttons. At least that's my opinion. I'm talking about gestures. Now, before I get into the process and the whole overview of the all-in-one gesture app, I want to tell you the advantages and the disadvantages you'll gain with this change. And I will start with the disadvantages. Well, the first disadvantage would be that since you're used to the navigation bar, you were used in the past with the physical home button and so on and so forth, moving on to the swipe gestures may seem a little bit uncomfortable. And I can say that from my perspective you'll need time to get used to it. Another disadvantage for some of the users is that it's pretty difficult to get rid of the navigation bar in the entire user interface. Luckily, I have Root and Renovate Ice Custom ROM installed and in Rice app I can easily disable the navigation bar in portrait mode so I can fully experience all the gestures. Now let's get to the advantages. The first one is actually related to the design and structure of the S8 or S8 Plus, the curved screen and curved edges. They make the swiping action more natural, more fluid and silky smooth since you can actually feel the corner where you're starting the swipe action from. In my perspective, it is more effective than trying to reach the sides of a flat screen. Also, you may have heard about the AMOLED burning issue already. I have a detailed video on that in the card section if you want to find out more. Removing the navigation bar or any static parts on the display will reduce the wear and the burn in pixels in that area. That means prevention and gestures will really help prevent that issue. Another advantage is the general usability. For me, a swiping gesture is a more natural way of controlling your phone especially these days when the smartphones tend to get more bezel-less. This is the way of having an entire screen to body ratio of almost 90 to 95% maybe, getting rid of all the buttons, navigation bars, making it really immersive with gesture controlling user interface. Now enough with the talking, let me show you how to get this done on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. So as I said you'll need all-in-one gestures app from Play Store. Open up and grant the accessibility options. Then you can enable the edges you want the swipe gestures to start from. Also, all the actions are customizable, so you can change between status bar, brightness, screenshot, immersive, and so on and so forth. Into the personalization menu, you have edge preferences, where you can um, adjust various variables. Opacity will let you completely hide or show the edge pattern. I recommend you to leave at uh, maybe 30% the first time you'll use it, in order to get used to the positioning faster. Of course, all the variables here are gonna be configured different, varying from person to person. Some may like edge to be in the center, some of them will prefer having it more accessible, more responsive. You can play with these settings as you want and see what's best for you. Okay, so let's see a simulation of how gestures are gonna work. So swiping from left will enable the multitask window, swiping from right will act as the back button and swiping up from the button will act like the home button. What happens if they're used in landscape mode? Well, the exact same thing as they do in portrait mode, without a miss. So that was pretty much what I wanted to show you today. I find this app to be really useful and this idea to be an option Samsung should be implementing in their future firmwares and why not in their future smartphones. I hope you really like my video. If you want to find out more about Renovate Ice Custom ROM and their Rice app, check the videos on the screen. I am Wicked and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you appreciate my work. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.